everybody. Welcome to Baby Time here at the Hewitt Public Library. I'm Miss Kay and it's good to see you this week. I have my baby with me and we're going to start out with um, our featured tickle time of the week and we're focusing on uh, books with faces this week and so we're focusing on the face. So here's the baby face and so our tickle is the moon is round as round as can be two eyes, a nose, and a mouth like me. That way we're focusing on the face with our baby. Okay, I'm gonna give my baby to Miss Caitlin. Miss Caitlin, there's my baby. So that I can talk to you a minute about our features for this week. And uh, like I said, the books are about faces. And we got all these nice little books. Uh, two of them that I have on my flyer are checked out. So look at my flyer and you have some more. But this really has good um, pi uh, pictures. These really have good pictures of different faces. And Karen Katz books, oh, I just love her books. A lot of her books have um, big faces on them. So the, children, the babies can look at those. And those are the ones for, we have for this week. And when I started doing this week's topic of the face books, I found some really interesting studies on babies looking at faces. So that's what I put on my flyer. So be sure to, to look at that. And you can get on, you can get more information about that by just Googling it. It's fascinating, really fascinating that newborns um, can recognize faces with these studies that they've done. And some of the studies go back um, quite a few years. So it's very interesting and I thought you might enjoy that. Okay, and then Miss Kelsey, this week is going to talk to you, show you a little short video of her little boy with a push toy. And it works out that her push toy um, is the same one that we have featured with our family place and when we do baby time. And um, when we do baby time in the library, they love this alligator, alligator push toy. And um, when they're smaller, because we have different age ranges. We have from, from like three months to 12 months that come to baby time. And so the ones that can't push yet like to play with these little, these little things. And they really watch each other. And, and it was so sweet in past baby times that the little bit younger babies watch a little bit older ones. And then they, they um, watch them model how to use it. And they can't wait to use it. So we have two of those. But they have the cute little alligators that chomp. And like I said, these little thing, twisty things on it that they can play with. And of course, it's colorful. And it's very sturdy and it's made by um, Melissa and Doug. And so this is one that Kelsey features with her little boy. And she said that you often hear physical therapists say no to walkers. But this is not a walker. You don't want to confuse a walker with a push toy. So this is very um, a very good toy for the, the babies to start with. Um, it says walkers. I'm looking at my notes here. Walkers. Um, don't promote optimal development. The push toys have them walk around because they're they're fostering their skills when they start pushing it and they put their weight on it. Um, she said that they waited um, to give little Scotty his until he demonstrated an interest. So she said once he started pushing boxes around or like every box he came in contact with, they knew, okay, this is when we can bring this out. Um, she really likes this one, and we do here at the library too because it's very sturdy. And this has lasted us for three years, so it's it's a good toy. Um, that your baby needs to be able to safely use it, and that means they can pull and stand without it tipping over. And um, she says they need to walk without without this thing running away from under them, and it's very good for that. Um, and she said the heavier, the better. And Generally, Melissa and Doug toys are, are really good. And then the longevity, how long is it going to last? Like I said, we had this one three years. And she said she also likes the grocery carts and wagons because they have multiple purposes. But again, you have to watch some of those carts because they were flimsy. Um, and then you have to look and see, does the toy motivate your child? And like I said, um, with, the, with the younger ones, before they start, they can play with this part. And then as they get more interested, they're pushing on it. And then as they advance, the little, um, let's see if I can do it in this case, the little alligators, see how they chomp? So they try to make them chomp the older they get. So it's, it's good for, for quite a while for the babies. So anyway, that's our 
message for today. Faces and push toys. So uh, stay tuned because right after this video, Miss Caitlin's going to connect Miss uh, Kelsey's video of Scotty demonstrating using a toy. And we're so glad you joined us today. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Hey, ready, go.